Good morning, Spokane Valley Baptist and our online friends. In my last devotional, I shared the two most important commandments according to Jesus. Love God and love your neighbor as yourself. Luke 10, 25-37 tells us a familiar story. A Jewish man was going down a road from Jerusalem to Jericho when he was attacked by robbers. They stripped him of his clothes, beat him, and went away, leaving him for half dead. A priest happened to be going down the same road, and when he saw the man, he passed by on the other side. So too a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side as well. But a Samaritan, as he traveled, came where the man was, and when he saw him, he took pity on him. He went to him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine. Then he put the man on his own donkey, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper. Look after him, he said, and when I return, I will reimburse you for any extra expense you may have. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers? The expert in the law replied, the one who had mercy on him. Jesus told him, go and do likewise. Today we associate someone doing a good deed as a good Samaritan. Realize that in Jesus' day, a Samaritan was a despised and dirty individual to the Jews. Yet this Samaritan helped a Jewish man who likely would have not given him the time of day if it were not for the fact that he was injured. Does today's church look down upon certain groups of people to the point that we do not associate with such individuals? Do we separate people by race, political affiliation, homelessness, addiction, or sexuality? How would we feel about accepting help from people we do not agree with? Jesus did not tell the lawyer to become a Samaritan. He told the lawyer to have mercy on those who need us without bias. Now that is what I call neighborly advice. Many blessings to you.